watching hockey is best amongst other people. <laughs> I try to recreate the atmosphere of going to see a game, basically. I know that not all of us are, you know, able to go see a game. So the second best thing is to have, you know, guys over here. Even if they lose, it doesn't matter. Just getting together and sitting in front of that television and screaming at the same time or being, you know, jo you know having all that joy at the same time. It's, it's, so, it's so euphoric. It just really makes hockey that much better. Being uh, born, in, uh, born and raised in Montreal, the, the Canadians are everywhere. And, you know, playing hockey myself as, as a youngster, everything was about the Habs and the Canadians and, and their winning pedigree, uh, sort of like, it just, um, it pushed everybody in this city to sort of like, like the Habs. And it just kind of, it was just something you wanted to be a part of, that winning atmosphere. This is the Habs cave, as everyone has coined it. <laughs> it's a man cave that I just sort of started out building for the guys to hang out. And, uh, you know, I just was able to display all my memorabilia that I've been collecting over the years. And uh, it's just become this great gathering place to watch Habs games. I, it started with hockey cards, basically, you know, and uh, as, a, as a youngster, being, um, you know, a born and raised in Canada. Hockey is everywhere and you play hockey, you collect the cards, you watch hockey. I remember, you know, opening my first pack of hockey cards and having something sort of tangible uh, in my hands that I can, you know, turn on the television and see that player, but then have that player in my hand. It just sort of ignited this passion in me. As a youngster, um, I would start collecting and I had nowhere to display a lot of this stuff. I just kind of kept it away. And I had a, a closet or a trunk full of this stuff. And I said, you know, one day I will have the space to display this stuff. And I will, I'll do it. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> a lot of uh, man caves I've seen, because man caves are getting larger and like bigger and bigger. People are making a man cave. It's just a lot of memorabilia and maybe a few seats and a little TV. Uh, you know, I, I'm blessed to have the room to have, you know, have all this. But again, my focus wasn't, to, I could have just made it all a museum, but I have a lot more memorabilia that is not on display here. But um, I decided to sort of, uh, you know, focus on making it a place of like where people can hang out and watch the game first and foremost. And then the, everything else sort of filled in after that. This is where we watch the games. And, uh, you know, there's, I have about 25 seats here. So that all aimed aim to the television and the focus is the hockey game. It always is. And again, during the intermission, that changes. Everyone, you know, gets a drink or whatnot and starts to play some of the games. And, and I enjoy the atmosphere and the sounds of, you know, the arcades, etc. And uh, that's what makes it fun. I tried to emulate the Bell Center here with the banners on the top, the scoreboard light. And, um, you know, and we got we got the legends here. So it's just, uh, you know, adorned by the 24 Stanley Cups over here. I wouldn't mind adding another one, but uh, you know, one day that will happen, I guess. It's just a passion of mine and I'm not trying to show off or sell anything. I'm just try trying to uh, put goodness out there, <laughs> any hockey goodness out there. It's just, and anything I receive in return is great. Like, I love, the, I love the getting positive feedback, it's, it's fantastic. A lot of people like to challenge me. They said, do you, well, do you have this player? Do you have this player? Somewhere in here, I have their autograph. Like I haven't cataloged it all, but it's gotta be in here. So people are always asking me, what about this player? What about that player? Of course, Habs players. But uh, yeah, you know, somewhere in here, I, I probably have most of the autographs somewhere in there. I have a lot of uh, seats from the original uh, form. 
So I have 13 seats, lucky enough to have 13. Having four in a row is, uh, is pretty, it's, it's, a, it's a good find to get four in a row because uh, that, that's a tough get. On the back of them, you could see the different la layers of paint that they've gone through. Uh, they're, you know, coming to 100 years old, these, these seats, so. And what's great is I have a seating chart, an original seating chart from the Montreal Forum, so a lot of the seats that uh, I have down here I can track, and you could see where they were. People are always asking, what happened to these seats? What are people doing to them? I'm like, they're 100 years old. I mean, they've seen the Beatles, Muhammad Ali, they've seen the Rolling Stones, they've seen all 24 Stanley Cups, so it's just, you know, I think, I think they're amazing to own. I'm really lucky to have them. Here's a rather unique piece, which is a, a divider from the old Montreal Forum, section 118. So this is kind of unique, it weighs a ton. <laughs> uh, traveled uh, quite a distance to pick it up, but uh, I was happy that someone reached out to me and said, hey, you know, this might, this might be, look good in your space. And I was happy to, to rush out there and pick it up. Ken Dryden, uh, Manigan. <laughs> I like the fact that he's kind of keeping guard over here, but uh, you know, it's a classic pose. And it just, it's just, it's just so Montreal Canadiens. Putting stuff like this together is a lot of fun. You know, scouring, you know, the internet and having people, you know, contact people. Hey, do you have a glove? Do you have a blocker? And, you know, the pads I acquired by a gentleman in Quebec City and the blocker and glove came from like another place in Ontario. So it's, you know, putting it all together like a puzzle is a lot of fun. This Stanley Cup here is, is something else that I like to take around with me. Uh, it's a two foot replica of the Stanley Cup. I'm at about 63 former Montreal Canadiens players have uh, Stanley Cup winners that have signed this. And uh, again, I, uh, I have a list. And so whenever there's a signing of a player that, you know, former Habs player that has won a cup, I take this out and I bring it with me. Uh, it's got a little velvet bag, take it out. And, and so like, it gives me so much pleasure to add more signatures to this guy. It's fun to like still be like, like as a child on a hunt, you know, like, I know I'm, a, I'm, I'm an adult, but it's still fun to, to just, you know, find these players, get an autograph. I still feel joy. A lot of people thought it was strange or that I took it to this sort of extreme. It's hard for me to say no. If, if, if it's something I don't have and it's Habs related, pretty hard to say no. If, if it's, you know, it usually, usually I'll just take it and I'll figure it out. <laughs>if it's a shrine to Patrick Roy, I can't, I'm not going to deny it. I'm a huge Patrick Roy fan. And, uh, uh, and you know, he was really sort of like for a generation of goalies, the man, and he really sort of changed the game. And uh, there's so many French Quebec goalies that are, you know, are goalies because of him. I was 13 years old in this picture. And uh, that's, I think it was the first time I met Patrick uh, just to kind of one-on-one. -on -one. So I stood in line for, I don't know, seven hours because it was an event at Zeller's at the time. And he had, they had just won the, the cup. And yeah, I was first in line. And um, so I got to spend like a, a great amount of time with Patrick because he really did spend time with me knowing that I stood in line probably for seven hours. And he signed everything in I, that I had. And it was such a great experience. I'll never forget it. And, and years later, obviously, I was able to get the picture autographed by Patrick himself, and he did remember that day, which was really awesome. Anything to do with Patrick was huge for me, so. To ever imagine owning the stick he used in like 1986, or even in 1993 when they won the Stanley Cup, to me that's, I mean, it's outrageous to, to think that I have something of his in my basement. Uh, and I cherish it and love it, and uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't part with it. If uh, he ever made his way down here, that would be really a true a dream come true. <laughs> it could happen. I'm trying to make it happen. It could happen one day. Anything's possible. This is now art for art for my generation. I'm no like my. I'm not like my parents where I'm buying a painting. I'd much prefer to buy a Patrick Roy autographed jersey and put that on my wall. And that's that's art to me. I mean, look how colorful it is. How beautiful it is. When it's framed and presented in, in such a way, I really believe it is like artwork. And uh, it does retain value if you're talking about investment wise. It does, you know, it is an investment. I personally have never bought a piece because of its value. I've always bought it because I loved it and I want to share it and it just makes me happy. But if it's worth something in the end, great. But at the same time, I, I, it, I'll never sell something. Anything I've brought into my basement is really, is, it hasn't been for investment purposes. So if I've taken the time to sort of, um, you know, 
bring something into this cave, display it. Uh, it's very hard for me to even make a trade. I, I, I feel guilty about parting with anything in here, even though I know, okay, I've traded and I've acquired something else. I, I, it's, it's hard for me not to think about what I gave up for the new item. It, it's just hard. Like it's, it's not, it's not something that, uh, like I said, it, it's not easily, it doesn't come easily to me to give up any, anything in here. A lot of this collection is nostalgia driven because, um, you know, who doesn't want to remember the good stuff? And, and, and I feel like when I'm down here, I'm surrounded by the good stuff. And when you come down here, when I tell my friends to come down here, I'm like, keep every, put that, the rest of that stuff away uh, uh, in the upper level. You're down here, forget about all that stuff. Let's have some fun. Surround yourself with the goodness and the richness and the history of the Canadians and let's just watch hockey.